All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah to exalt the mansion and grant peace and send his blessings upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Upon his companions and all those who follow them on the righteous path until the day of judgment. Human beings are amazing. Amazing. Amazing creatures. How quickly, how quickly they change their minds and their statements. Particularly when it goes against desires. People do wild things when you deal with their desires or when you try to, you're not really attacking, but you're trying to mention some things which kind of conflict with their desires, amazing things happen. Things that you think human beings would never do, but they do them. This particular quality of the children of Adam has existed ever since we can remember. It goes all the way back to the people of Nuh alayhi salatu wassalam. You all know Nuh and what he had to go through with his people. What happened with the people of Nuh as the ulama mentioned is that there used to be some righteous people that worshipped Allah and were slaves of him or slaves of his subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when they passed away, the shaitan came to those individuals who remained and told them, you know, these were wonderful people and you're going to let their memory just go? They, they will be no, how will you remember them? How will you get encouraged to worship Allah at the time of, at the time when you're feeling a little lazy? Why don't you make statues, idols in their shape, in their appearance, not to worship them, no, 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 no. Only so that anytime you're feeling lazy, you remember, you look at these statues, you say, this was, you know, Fulan, and this was Fulan, what wonderful people. We need to worship Allah like they used to worship Allah, so you will get encouraged to worship Allah. That's how it began. Sure enough, they listened to him, they built the statues, and all of a sudden, when the generations started to die, and the new generations came unaware of what was happening in the past and the intent behind building these or, or uh, sculpturing these statues, they started to actually worship them, not, not denying Allah, no. But they were worship, worshiping them in a sense that they wanted these people to get them to Allah. <clears throat> these are righteous people and they will intercede for them with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah sent Nuh alayhi salatu wassalam. And what did Nuh say? He warned them. قَالَ عَبُدُ اللَّهِ مَا لَكُمْ مِنْ إِلَهٍ غَيْرُهُ Worship Allah. You have no other gods besides Him. And you read Surah Nuh. <clears throat> what did Allah say? Amazing. At some point after He gave him da'wah for Allah knows how many years and they would close their ears when He would give him da'wah. They would cover their faces with their clothes. They're not trying to hear it. Allah said, وَمَكَرُوا مَكْرًا كُبَّارًا And they plotted a mighty plot. Not just an, any average, you know, scam. This was some hardcore plotting. وَقَالُوا لَا تَذَرُنَّ آلِهَتَكُمْ وَلَا تَذَرُنَّ وَدًّا وَلَا سُوَاعًا وَيَغُوثًا وَيَعُوقًا وَنَسْرًا And they said, do not abandon your gods. Don't leave them alone. Don't leave them alone. And don't leave what the wasu'a, these are the names of these, according to the ulama of tafsir, these righteous people whom they erected statues in their appearance and their resemblance. And not only that, now here's the point. Now this is already evil. This is evil. Rejecting worshipping Allah alone, insisting on setting up intermediaries between us and Allah. This is a problem enough. But they didn't stop there. They said to Nuh, Inna lanaraka fi dalalim mubin. Verily, we see that you are in clear, manifest, deviance, error, misguidance. You're no good. This is the Messenger of Allah. Now, they are the rightly guided, and Nuh has astray, according to them. He said, my people, I don't have any, any deviance in me. 
Nay, but I'm a messenger from the Lord of everything, from the Lord of everything that exists. When they rejected, what did Allah do? What did Allah do? Everybody was drowned. Right or wrong? He built the ark. Allah saved him and those who believed with him, which were a minority, the animals which Allah decreed would remain, and everything else was gone. These people were destroyed. Now, history repeated itself over and over again with the prophets and the messengers that were sent again and again. Read the Quran. This is no mystery to any Muslim. No mystery to any Muslim. That every nation, that same, same risala, same message. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا نُوحِي إِلَيْهِ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنَا فَاعْبُدُونَ We haven't sent a messenger before you, except that we reveal unto him that there is no God worthy of worship but I, so worship me. And they rejected, they were destroyed. They rejected, they were destroyed until the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came. Now, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came, what was he called? What was he called among his people? What was his title? As Sadiq Al Amin. Everybody knows that. Sadiq from Sidq. He was truthful. Amin, trustworthy. You can trust him. No one disputed that. The Kuffar and everybody there, regardless of their tribe, regardless of their background, there was no difference of opinion among the Kuffar that the Prophet was what? As Sadiq Al Amin. And all of a sudden, he starts calling them to Tawheed, and things change. He becomes, And the disbeliever said, This is a magician, a lying magician. Kathab is different than Kathib. Kathib is someone who may lie. Kathab, this is his quality. Now look, a Sadiq became. كذاب a liar أجعل الآلهة إلها واحدة هذا لشيء عجاب now listen to this the crazy stuff crazy stuff human beings say he made the gods one god this is amazing this is a curious thing how how could the many gods become one god as if as if we were created with the natural disposition of believing in multiple gods and Tawheed suddenly came. It's the other way around. We were born with worshipping Allah alone. Then Shirk came. They said, this is something amazing. Allah described their affair. They used to be whenever it was said to them, there's no God worthy of worship but Allah. Yes, takbirun, they would act arrogantly. They were prideful. And then they say, are we going to leave our gods? For what? Sahirin majnoon. For a mad poet. So far we have five titles. Kathab, magician, mad, poet, and in another ayah, they call them what? A kahin. A soothsayer. They combine five, the most evil titles. You can think of people. The most evil, the, 